Hey guys, Titan here, bringing you a much needed video on how to import and export Cinti's rigged models into Blender and Unity. First off, we're going to cover how you can import and export the source files into Blender, and then we're going to talk about another way you can go about it, exporting FBXs from Unity. So let's get started. First off, we're going to want to import an FBX file, import FBX. Before we do anything, we want to make sure we have these imported settings correct. I have some preset settings here. And if you notice, we have unchecked import animations. That's very important because the pose will actually reset if this isn't unchecked. And then the armatures here, we have ignore leaf bones and force connect children. So these are may not be the optimal settings, but they're the settings that work for me. Now make sure we have these settings up here correct. And then we're going to actually import the, the big rig characters from Senti. Now the first thing you're going to notice is things went a little crazy, but that's all right. We're going to fix it. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure we have everything selected, go into pose mode, pose here, and then we're going to clear all transforms. So that puts our guy looking pretty normal now. Now we want to go out of pose mode, back into object mode. And if we look over here, we have not quite the right settings that we want for the rotation and scale. We want the rotation to be set to zero and the scales to be set to one. And we're going to accomplish this by setting this to zero. But we're not going to set these to one. We're going to go ahead and apply these transforms that we have now. So you can get, you can either do control A like this, or you can do object apply all transforms. And so that's going to apply these transforms. We can switch him back to 90 degrees so he's easier to work with. But we don't apply it this time. And if you look, we have the right settings down here now. And we can actually do whatever we want with this model now in Blender. And then we can export it. So now let's go through the proper way to export these files. So we're going to go to File, Export, FBX. And we're going to export it into the test folder that I have set up. Now these are the predefined settings I have for exporting. So you can choose whether you want it to do only selected objects or not. That's your preference. But the main thing here is to make sure we have FBX unit scale. That's what is going to make sure that we have the right scaling when we import it into Unity. Now these other ones are, I believe, close to default. But just to make sure, here they are. And now we're going to call it test character and we're going to export this FBX. All right, I'll see you over in Unity. Okay, now we're in Unity, and here is our character. We're going to bring him into the scene, looking pretty normal now. And we're going to duplicate this camera so we can test it out, see if everything's working right. We're going to put it on our test character. Let's see, I've, got, I've already got some presets here. I'm going to copy them over to my main guy and then we'll move the car the camera into him let's give him a controller this is the unity third person controller that they provide in the standard assets package so nothing special and we just have all the normal controller stuff set up and let's test him out oh i forgot to do something this is an important step so we need to go into the character and click select and we need to change the animation type into humanoid that's very important easy step to overlook all right, now let's try. There we go. Looking good. Working just fine. Everything looks good. 
All right, now we're going to look into how you can export FBXs from Unity and use those to import into Blender and have less issues. So we're going to go to the Adventure pack. I've got Polygon Adventure up here. And we are going to make sure we install the uh, FBX exporter. So we go to Window, Package Manager. We want to make sure we have all packages and it's loading them in right now. And once this comes up, we're going to look for the FBX exporter and we're going to install that. All right, now we can scroll down and see FBX exporter here. We're going to want to install that. It'll take just a second. All right, so we can close this now and we're going to select our model that we want to export. We're going to go to game object and now we have this ob we have this now because we have added it export to FBX. And it's important we change ASC2 to binary because it will not work in Blender if we have this setting. So we got to change this to binary and then name it whatever we like. And we're going to choose the test folder to export it into, and now export. So we should be able to go it back into Blender now and import this new FBX. So we're going to go to test folder. Here it is here. Import. Whoop, I forgot something. So let's go ahead and delete this and try again. This is this shows you what can go wrong here. So import FBX. I forgot to make sure my settings were right. So make sure we have the right settings here. And we actually want to have automatic bone configuration for this one, I believe. All right, and now once we make sure we have the right settings here, we can import this FBX and it looks just fine here. And we're good to go, I believe. So we can just edit this however we want. And then we can export it again back into Unity. File, export, and just call it characters.fbx. Make sure we have the proper settings and then we can export it just like that. So I really hope this guide was helpful in uh, clearing up some a lot of issues when importing and exporting Cinti's rigged models into Blender. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Please like and subscribe if this was useful to you and I'll see you next time.